I want to do an overview of hydrangeas. There are so many bold and beautiful plants in this uh, group or this family that uh, I thought it was worth an overview. So what you're looking at now are hydrangea macrophylla. They come primarily in pinks and blues although um, I'll get into how you can change the color based on the pH in a moment. Um, and these are great plants for um, shadier areas. These uh, you're looking at here are under the canopy of taller trees and they're really ideal for that type of a setting. Uh, secondly, they're great for summer bloom. Uh, they do their biggest show in the middle of summer when roses and a lot of other things have kind of passed by and uh, they're really and they have a long long bloom cycle uh, typically ranging from two to four months long depending on the type and your weather conditions. So I like to use these again as I said in shadier areas but if you're near the coast for instance in California uh, you can use these in full sun and they'll be fine and as a matter of fact they'll tend to bloom better if they get more light. Um, most of these uh, macrophylla varieties run from probably four to six feet tall and wide and uh, can certainly be kept to that size and they um, have a, a range of colors. If you look in catalogs or talk to people at nurseries, you're going to find that there are a lot of different uh, hybrids that have been developed, and you're seeing some of those here. Uh, uh, this dark pink color is certainly a stunning one, um, but as you, if you notice here in this next shot, this is where the different colors all on one plant are showing up because of the difference in the pH. And if you want to have uh, bluer hydrangeas, then um, most people use aluminum sulfate to drop the pH into a more acidic range. And if you want pinker ones, then you'll use a more neutral or alkaline range for the pH. These white variety, this white variety here is um, an arborescence, hydrangea arborescence, and um, Annabelle, and it's it's certainly one of my favorites, and a lot easier to grow in terms of water and its needs than the um, macrophylla varieties. This next variety is Hydrangea quercifolia, or oak leaf hydrangea. The plant gets six to eight feet tall and wide, and the flowers are huge. They're uh, 12 to 16 inches long and have beautiful detail as you can see here. They also, as they mature, they take on these uh, lovely amber tones in their older petals. And uh, this is probably uh, August, September where you're looking at this photo now. The next uh, type of hydrangea is the lace cap hydrangea, which is a hydrangea macrophylla, and these come in pinks, whites, and blues, and uh, just have a lacier, more interesting, uh, subtle uh, petal design than the mop top macrophyllas. Hydrangea paniculata is a, a very bold and a larger shrub type than um, a lot of the macrophyllas. This is PG hydrangea and um, this one here is just a straight paniculata. It has more of a cone shape to the flower and um, then this is hydrangea pinky winky which is a paniculata and as this plant matures the pink color gets stronger at the base of the flower head as you can see here and these will bloom um, right into October in Northern California. As you can see the uh, hydrangea family has gr a lot of great choices. Um, I encourage you to research some of these and see uh, which one suits your personal taste and situation and then give them a try in your garden.